Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for another Death Pro Duel video. Um, yeah, this deck is called uh, Tribute Stun Deck. So based around your uh, Fiends, your Vanity's Fiend and your Majesty's Fiend. And with uh, the new cards from the, the new set. With, uh, yeah, Grudge of the Monarchs. It's a new Monarch card from the yeah, Monarch support, obviously. Is that you need to reveal a Monarch or a Tribute Monster with uh, 2400 or 2800 attack and 1000 defense. So you reveal your Majesty's Fiend or your Chaos in this case to search out a Monarch spell or trap from your deck. And basically, your primary targets in this deck are, of course, the Monarch Storm Fourth. Uh, and uh, March of the Monarchs, your forbidden, uh, yeah, continuous forbidden lands, uh, and also the one return, which is fine to search out more tributes from your deck. Um, but yeah, I, I tested this kind of deck uh, some time ago, but with uh, Ghost Tricks, because we needed, or yeah, to, to test something besides uh, Frog Monarchs, or where your main engine is Treeborn Frog. And uh, yeah, this is of course another engine with Soul Exchange, the Monarch Storm Fourth. Uh, to completely rely on your Floodgate tribute, so both Vanities and Majesty's Fiend. Um, the deck is super consistent. I mean, it's it's, it's much more consistent uh, compared to uh, yeah Caleb Cosby's deck. You might have seen it. I'll leave the link in the video description. But now with the addition of the Crutch, oh yeah, Crutch of the Monarchs, the deck is so consistent to search out your Monarch Storm Fourth or your March. March is a super ridiculous card that you can protect your Vanity's Fiend, your Majesty's Fiend against, against pretty much everything, against uh, Breakthrough Skill, uh, Dimensional Prism. And bottomless strapple and so on and yeah, so on. Uh, roll degree is super important against cards like Wing Blast, Karma Cut, uh, um, what is it called? Skill Drain. Skill Drain is a big, uh, big threat for this deck. Um, but yeah, again, uh, two parter, uh, all the different decks. Uh, I, I'm testing against Necklots, against uh, Clive Forts, uh, Girgias, and Satellites. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so this is part one. Yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so the first duels are against Nekloth. I think he's playing my build, uh, or he made one, yeah, one change, uh, one, uh, yeah, one adjustment to the build. Uh, he gets to start. Yomazoth with a very good hand, of course, with Nyorla. Uh, also, thanks to his Galadomir, he was able to specials or yeah, ritual summon his Unicorn to search everything out from his deck. Pretty much setting up for next turn with his uh, search in hand. And also the Brion Act, but I open very well with uh, March of the Monarchs. Uh, he has MST, pretty much one of the only outs against March uh, in the deck. And if you can back up your March with uh, a Vanity's Fiend or a Majesty's Fiend, that's most of the time good game against uh, the decks, against the top tier decks, against Shadows, for example. Uh, yeah, depending on which Fiend you put on board and also which counters they have, like Dragon or Wing Blast. Uh, so it's, it's, it's not. So, it, yeah, it's not 100% uh, good game, but uh, yeah, the combo of your March and either Vanities or Majesty's Fiend is just, uh, yeah, it's very, very good. Uh, so I win easily when uh, the first game, thanks to Vanity's Fiend. I don't think he plays a lot of outs in his main deck to Vanity's Fiend. Uh, so the, the moment I, I put Vanity's Fiend on board, it should be game over, uh, unless Darkhold and Raikeki, of course. Uh, so again, pretty much it's the same. I have uh, already opened with uh, two uh, March and activate my Soul Exchange. I can't activate Grudge since Vanity's Fiend uh, has 1,200 defense, so not like Majesty's Fiend. But yeah, thanks to <laughs> thanks to both March on the field, uh, my Vanity's Fiend pretty much cannot be destroyed. Uh, the only uh, yeah, I cannot special summon. And they can also not be targeted by card effects, so no breakthrough skill, no prison, no, uh, yeah, pretty much everything. Uh, so again, thanks to the Floodgate card, thanks to Ventus Fiend, I can pretty much lock up that duel. He again has a nice opening hand, ending with Nyorla, a nice field. Uh, so activate Grudge, reveal the Majesty's Fiend, and to search out the March, I believe. Yeah, so activate March. Uh, then Storm Fort to tribute this Nyorla and put Majesty's Fiend on board. Uh, which uh, is a good card, obviously, against Neklots, but it's pretty much the same against, uh, what is it called, against Shadal. Uh, they, can, yeah, they can easily attack over it with their fusion or ritual, but they need to invest cards, and because of Majesty's Fiend, they can't activate their Shadals or their Shrit if you're playing against the uh, Rituals, of course. 
so they need to invest cards uh, and that's good obviously uh, and I yeah pretty much lucky top deck into Vanity's Fiend uh, and again as I said before I'm not sure I don't think he plays a lot of outs against Vanity's Fiend yeah, pretty much I think only Dark Hole and Trigeki, so he needs his side deck. Uh, this is one of the duels where you need your side deck, uh, because this kind of tribute stun deck is super consistent. It's indeed very consistent. Uh, also, one the, yeah, the, the one downside I uh, saw from testing is that, that this kind of deck uh, really does not play any kind of back row, uh, or at least defense. And that's why I decided to main deck the hands, uh, also because of Clive Forts, as you will see in part 2 of my videos uh, about this deck um, yeah, against uh, skill drain of course yeah skill drain is a big uh, big threat for this deck since i'm not main decking uh, mystical space typhoon uh, but yeah i do main deck roll degree but uh, yeah it's helix and so on uh, can easily uh, destroy my roll degree it's helix right uh, it's not the other one uh, anyway, uh, next duel against the Telonites. My opponent gets to start. My hand is very decent. Have the Grudge, have the, have the Storm Fort, so I can already search out my March, which will be the best. Uh, so normal summon Fire Hand because of the two back row. I'm just going to wait, get my Fire Hand on board. There's no, yeah, nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no reason that I should go ham, uh, uh, just in case if he already has Typhoon. So I just waited out. He go yeah, he's going to make Omega since he knows that I'm playing a deck reliant, or yeah, that I f uh, heavy th that I'm heavily dependent on my uh, Stormfort and Soul Exchange. And uh, yeah, thanks to his Omega, uh, yeah, as you see, he's going to uh, quickly seal up the deal. Uh, his Omega is unaffected by spells. So the second one is irrelevant. It doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. And I scoop it up. No reason to go any uh, further, uh, since yeah, I can't get rid of the Omega, and he's able to attack for game. Uh, yeah, GG. Nothing I can do. Uh, yeah, I get to start. Activate part of the duality. Set both uh, marches. Uh, which is good since I have the Soul Exchange and the Vanity's Fiend on board, and we know how good both Vanity's Fiend and Majesty's Fiend are against uh, Satellanites. Again, uh, pretty much the Floodgate card, Floodgate effect. I keep him out of the duel. His Dark Hole is useless, his Prison is useless, since yeah, my Vanity's Fiend cannot be targeted by card effects, nor destroyed by card effects. So I think his only out here is double MST. And even then he needs, yeah, he has a Dark Hole, so double MST, or uh, the Honest, the Honest to get uh, over the Vanity's Fiend. Uh, since, yeah, cards like Forbidden Lands are also dead, thanks to both March. Yeah, March is just, it's a ridiculous card, the card is so, so good. The guy, it's unbelievable uh, compared to yeah, if you have a march on board uh, together with uh, either Vanity's Fiend or Majesty's Fiend. Yeah, it's just uh, ridiculous the combination, the two card combo. Um, a lot of decks have difficulties to get uh, over this combo. Uh, so, said, yeah, activate Soul Exchange for the Chaos. Banish one of his back rows. Yeah, it's pretty much a matter of time now. He's just uh, stalling, hopefully, to draw into those MSTs. So immediately Chaos to banish his face down attack for game, yeah. <laughs> Not going to waste any more time. Um, but yet against Satellanites this was pretty pretty much always the case. Uh, you end up with uh, your stun monster on the field, uh, your floodgate, either your majesty or vanity's fiend. And thanks to your grudge, you can easily search out either your storm fort or your march, depending on which cards you you already have in your hand. Thanks to your dualities, your upstarts and so on, the deck is super consistent. Uh, we know he has a warning, so I'm going to wait with Stormfort, activate degree, see if he has a wiretap or an MST. He has an MST, so I have to force out the warning. And uh, here, I pretty much hope for the best, so activate my march. You need to activate Stormfort and get Majesty's Fiend on board. Hopefully no second MST. Uh, followed up by prison or whatever or breakthrough skill he does have breakthrough skill which is useless thanks to my march set the degree so that's all perfect uh, yeah all good so he needs to set this unuk unukai i believe it's called uh, keep the ice hand in hand just in case if he has an out there is no reason to go ham just sit back uh, play uh, oh yeah have just uh, let your floodgate cards do the work uh, again, activate the second one, just in case if he draws into an MST. 
you never know it's always possible draw into forbidden dress i believe it's called yeah but i i think i dropped it out of the main deck yeah, yeah indeed so a deck for game so gg then the last duel against the Knights. Uh, 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 he opens up with uh, a Danep and a Soul Drain. Yeah, Soul Drain. Uh, because of the hands, of course, if I'm not mistaken. Then look in my hands. Normal Summon Carter D and have the Roll Degree set, which is all good. Uh, yeah, both march in hand. The Return of the Monarchs, the one decked return, is fine to search out more tributes. But uh, yeah, no Soul Exchange and no Storm Fort, so that can be a problem. Uh, so I have to set my Ice Hand here. Uh, they have the overall degree also set up. Um, yeah, maybe you should have gone for Dweller. Uh, but yeah, then again, he, he was probably thinking, okay, I have the Soul Drain, I can pop his monster and have the Soul Drain as a backup. Uh, but yeah, now I have the Fire Hand, so I'm going to Suicide Crash into his uh, Delta Ross to destroy it and attack over his monster. His altar is special summoned in attack. Uh, I think he can special summon his altar in defense, right? Uh, but yeah, it didn't really matter that much so I take over his monsters Act <laughs> yeah, activate all the continuous spells, activate both March and the Return and get that Vanity's Fiend on board to completely block him out of the duel uh, again I think the Honest is his only out, or yeah again double MST followed up by a destruction card on my Vanity's Fiend so activate Storm 4 to put Majesty's Fiend on board uh, also yeah blocking the possibility of him having Honest and yeah, this should be the game uh, always. There is little he can do. Uh, he reveals the Dark Hole. But yeah, thanks to March, the Dark Hole is not going to save him. So, Truth for Chaos, target this back, yeah, target this face down. Uh, search a Majesty's Fiend from my deck and attack for game. So, GG. Uh, yeah, the, the combination of your Vanity's Fiend or Majesty's Fiend compared with, uh, yeah, combined with uh, March of the Monarchs is just so powerful. Uh, so yeah, these were just a few duels against the Lights and against Neglots. Uh, the next video, part 2, will be against, uh, 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 against Glypods, Glyforts and uh, Girgias indeed. So uh, uh, yeah, I'll leave the link to part 2 in the video description. So again, if you have any suggestions, uh, yeah, there's also Mega Gaius in the extra deck. I'm definitely going to test it out in the near future. Uh, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Beat him signing out. Peace.